Hey everybody, welcome back uh, Behind the Bar with me this evening. Uh, tonight I'm doing a new release hotness, I guess, across the country. Um, it's pretty much available mostly everywhere anymore. Uh, but one of the big first I remember being like a huge whale, um, or at least stout whale, um, kind of that Bourbon County level for a long time, and that is Founders KBS. Um, what we've got here is an imperial stout brewed with a massive amount of coffee and chocolates, then cave aged in oak bourbon barrels for an entire year to make sure the wonderful bourbon undertones come through in the finish. Make your taste buds squeal with delight. Um, this was bottled 2-11-2016. So, I thought tonight we'd review it. Um, I haven't reviewed this bot beer on the channel, I don't believe, because I didn't start my channel until about May last year. Um, so we didn't get uh, to review it. So, uh, apologize for the label being a little weird. I put it in ice water to get it a little cooler, because um, I just bought this today. just came out in Kansas City today. So, let's get it into a glass. And see, the thing with this beer that I always wonder is, has it really gone downhill the last couple years? I mean, I know I've said myself that I remember 13 being the last great year of this beer, um, and that it's just kind of gone downhill every year since, but is it because I'm trying all these more, like, you know, just more over-the-top stouts, like Ground State that I reviewed the other night, or Toppling Goliath Stouts, or, you know, even some of the, the Bourbon County this year is frigging ridiculous. Um, those beers, I mean, is it because of that, or is it because this beer has really changed? Um, and another thing, does it age well? I don't know. Um, I haven't had a uh, aged bottle in a while, so. Anyways, enough of me jabbering. Uh, I've got it into a glass. Um, pours out. Um, had about a finger a half of uh, like cinnamon mocha looking head. Pretty big soapy bubbles. Um, some good alcohol legs on there. It comes in at eleven point two percent, which is dead on for the last couple years. Seventy IBUs. Um, looks pretty good in the glass though. Not a lot of glass. So yeah, there's some glass lacing there. Uh, this glass is not as clean as I'd like it to be. Sorry about that. Um, but looks, I mean, pitch black. I mean, just looks like, you know, just black in the glass. I mean, not even any color on the bottom there. Um, looks great. Let's see what it smells like. Big coffee. <clears throat> uh, more coffee than I remember. Big, just roasted coffee. Um, chocolate. Definitely some, I'm getting dark chocolate and even some dark fruits in there a little bit, but mostly just kind of a dark chocolate roasted coffee. Some sweetness that I'm assuming it's from the barrel. But not a lot of barrel itself. I'm not getting any real bourbon tones, uh, <laughs> modem tones. I mean, there's a little bit of bourbon sweetness there at the end, but for most part, just big roasted coffee, big chocolate. No real. I mean, no. You're not getting a lot of barrel notes. I'm not getting any real like natural like barrel noted like um, bourbon or I mean vanilla or like you know toasted coconut. None of that. Just kind of a sweet coffee roasted coffee chocolate kind of just bomb smells great big big nose great nose i mean it smells a little sweet um but great great nose um i can't wait to see what it tastes like cheers guys well first thing i'll say it's very car um, good carbonation very velvety good mouthfeel um, definitely getting the bourbon barrel. It's actually, it's a, t it's a tad warm. I'm definitely picking up the barrel and the sweetness there. I'm getting the note in coffee beers that I'm not a huge fan of. And that is, it's kind of a bitter coffee. Um, not quite like fajita or <laughs> green pepper. Uh, but it's, it's definitely bitter. Um, more so than if you use like cold pressed coffee, which just kind of gives a nice smooth coffee flavor. This I'm getting some bitterness from. Kind of a little bit of char from the barrel. Um, chocolate, but primarily coffee for me. I'm not getting a huge amount of chocolate. Um, it's definitely there. I'm definitely getting some dark chocolate, milk chocolate, like that baker's chocolate. Um, but it's not huge. I mean, coffee is definitely the forefront for the, of this for me. Um, and then that just kind of, there's some bourbon sweetness. It's kind of a sugary, like, it's like a really sugary stout. Um, like alcohol heat sweetness um, that kind of blends in with the barrel notes and I can't tell which is which um, but it doesn't taste it tastes really good I mean 
anybody that says that this is overrated or has lost it, I mean, I, I can see that this isn't a, a world-class stout or top tier anymore, but I, I, I think that that's just because of stouts that are out there now. I mean, this beer has been tried and true for, for a long time. It's good. I, I'm just sitting here kind of processing. It's it's good. It's just below cell. I mean, it's not cold, cold. I got it cold-ish, but not like overly cold. Um, it's getting real close to cellar temp, so it's not. I just wanted to, it was warm earlier, so. Yeah, really good. I mean, good chocolate notes, good coffee notes. Um, enough barrel to let you know that it was aged in barrels. But there is some warmth. I'm like, I do feel this beer right in here. Um, which I don't remember from previous versions of KBS. But I could be wrong. I haven't had them in so long. I mean, it's been a year since I had KBS last. It's not a beer that I, I buy. A, I tend to buy a bunch of it and then don't drink a bunch of it. And I don't know why that is. I always, every year I'm like, so this year I cut back on how much I bought. Um, yeah, good stuff. As far as a grade, um... It's solid. It's it's 95 for me, 95, 96. Um, is it better than, than other years? Um, well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's give 2015 a shot and see what we think. I figured let's have fun with this. Everybody's going to do a KBS review on the YouTube. Um, let's add a little bit to it. Let's give something... Give something back to the public and see what we think. Um, so, 2015, same ABV, same IBUs, pours out, looks very much the same. Actually, I think the head on this was a little... The head on uh, the 2016 is actually a little darker. Um, but good carbonation, looks basically the same in the glass. Good lacing, good alcohol legs, looks killer. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, this smells way different. <clears throat> uh, everything on this is just muted now. Um, the coffee has definitely fallen off. It's still there, but it's just like like a hint of like coffee ground in the background of what I'm smelling. I'm not getting any bourbon notes. A little bit of chocolate, but really the nose on this beer is not anything to speak of. And this has been, actually, this has been fridge temp um, since I bought it um, last year. So, yeah, the nose on this, is, it pales in comparison to that. I mean, it's it's half, it's half or a third of the nose. Like, it's just, there's not a lot going on. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, guys. Odd, though. Uh, wow. Sorry. Itch. Uh, really odd though. There was no coffee on the nose of this, but I'm definitely getting caught. Like I actually enjoy the coffee element on this better than I do the 16. But there's something up front that's bothering me. And I don't, <laughs> don't know what it is. It's like an off flavor that's just kind of, what is that? I don't know. It's just an odd bitterness right up front. Um, it's almost like a like a hot bitterness, but I don't know what it is. Um, but good roasted coffee flavor. The coffee's still there. Um, there's definitely some chocolate notes that are still in this beer. It tastes really good. Um, the bourbon note, like as far as like the warmth that I experienced with the 2016, is completely gone. I don't, I'm not getting that at all. Um, it's definitely a much simple beer, I guess. I'm not getting really any barrel on this. Um, and I will say color wise that this beer is a lot darker like you can get a little bit of that red hue at the edge of it but this one i'm getting it a lot more um this beer tastes a little thinner as well but yeah not a ton of uh, the, the the bourbon element to this beer and actually i remember when i drank this last year that was kind of a thought that i had i didn't think it, it was as barrel forward um the 16 definitely has more barrel character than this one does um this is not a bad beer if i was to rate this today though it's a little thin. Barrel limit's pretty much gone. The nose is not great at all. It tastes very, like, 5% stout nose. Um, so, you know, 92, probably 91, somewhere in there, an A-minus beer. Um, not bad. 
But let's see how it really ages because 2014 KBS. Why not, right? This one pours out a lot lighter in color, for sure. Not near as much carbonation. Um, a little bit. I mean, there's definitely some on there, but I actually poured that pretty aggressively, and that is completely gone. Um, also, same, this has actually been in fridge storage for at least a year and a half um, in cellar or any time other than that. Um, yeah, but looks, I mean, the carbonation's completely gone on that, and the others still have it, so not a great sign. Let's see what it smells like. Actually, like the nose on that one. Actually, it's really similar to the 15. Um, a smidge more like chocolatey sweetness, though. I'm getting a little bit more chocolate on the nose of this one. Like dark chocolate and even a little like dark fruit. Yeah, but it smells really similar to the 15, which is a smidge more chocolate from, but no coffee, no barrel, no sweetness, no nothing. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Um, really, really similar to the 15. I mean, the, there's some coffee bitterness there, or there's some coffee elements. It's actually really not even that bitter. Um, a little bit of chocolate. But no real barrel to speak of. I mean, again, the, the I, I don't think it's just if it's smoothed out with age a little bit, but it's definitely not as bourbon forward as 16. Um, 14 and 15 are actually extremely similar. So I don't know if founders decided to, to up it this year and give it, try and give it some more bourbon barrel elements to kind of get it back in line with what other beers are doing today. Um, honestly, these taste I, <laughs> really, really similar. The only reason I know they're different is because this one says 2015 on the label and this one has nothing on the label and the neck is smeared, but I know this was from 14. Um, I was going to do 13 as well, but I was just like, I don't care. <laughs> I only had one left and I didn't want to do it. So, um, to me, what this tastes like is a pretty good micro attempt at, or just a pretty good attempt with my micro, that was a stupid way to put it. A, just a pretty good attempt at, at just a coffee stout, right? Or coffee and chocolate. I get no barrel notes in this at all. I really don't. Um, I think that's just time. Um, the coffee has fallen off on the nose. The nose on this is not even close. I mean, this beer smells fantastic. Yeah. Um, again, so the problem, the, the one problem with doing this is that judging from year to year to year, you would think the recipe and everything is the same, but the type of coffee they could use is different. The roast could be different. There's, there's lots of things that could be different that we don't know about. Um, but if all of the recipes are the same, my, the point of me wanting to do this is should you age KBS? That was going to be the question that I was going to answer at the uh, end of this video. And the answer is no, do not age KBS. Um, drink it as fresh as you can. Uh, don't, I, I don't see it. I mean, it's not, I mean, we're talking like an A minus beer. Like this is 90 to 92 for me with these two. Um, whereas this is, I mean, this is like a 90, I don't, I, <laughs> I mean, now after having the other ones, like I want to bump it up to like a 96, 97, like right in that, a, like right in that AA plus range. A really good beer. It's worth picking up. I'm not sure it's worth $20 a four pack. I paid 21. Um, it's really good, but I'd rather drink a bottle of Bourbon County any day of the week. Um, this is a different beer though. I mean, this is definitely a little smoother than Bourbon County. Um, it, I don't know why I keep comparing it to that, but I think they're kind of have always been there together. Um, great beers, fun to do. I'm glad I just wanted to do something. I didn't want this video to take forever, but I wanted to do something a little different with my KBS review. So um, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Uh, we'll we'll go ninety. I'll get a final grade after I drink a little more of this. Ninety six, ninety sevens, where I'm going to be at with it. Um, these are low, you know, A minus beers um with age on them so don't if you have them drink them now i there's no reason to i mean in fairness though there's not a lot of difference between these two they're really i don't think i could tell the difference if you gave them to them blind i would swear to you it was the same year 
Um, the only there's a slight bit more chocolate on the 14, but that's it. Um, yeah, leave it there, guys. Hope this was fun. Hopefully, you got a little bit out of it. I wanted to do something different, so um, and then I'm gonna drink all of these. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes the rest of the night. Uh, yeah. So thanks for coming behind the bar with me, guys uh, and gals. Um, thanks for the likes, subscribes, comments, uh, getting really close to 400 subscribers, which is crazy to me since we just got to 300 a month ago and, um, maybe we'll do something fun and then maybe do a special beer for reaching 400 subscribers. Cause I don't know. It's fun. So anyways, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching guys. And, uh, cheers.